uh, the scripture together. Ready? One, two, three, go. Simon Peter answered and said, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus answered and said to him, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. And I also say to you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. Sandali. The church that is referred in this verse is not the building. It is referred to the group of believers. And the foundation is Jesus. So in Christ Jesus, we grow, we build. So group of believers. And the gates of Hades, the gates of hell, cannot defeat the church. Yeah. Because it, it is founded in the true rock, who is Jesus Christ. Yeah. Verse 19, let us again read together, go. And I will give you, sandali. Back to the verse 18, the church is the believers. So that the you here, and I will give you. That's not Peter. And I will, mean, of course, at that moment it was Peter, but because it is now the church, today in our present time, we have now the you here, the Peter here representing the represented by the believers. So how many Peters are in this room? Yeah. Okay. And I will give you, that means believers, the keys of the kingdom given to you, given to me, to every believer. Shall we read verse 19 together one more time? Go. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And whatever you lose on earth will be loose in heaven. I would like right now to tell you that the keys of the kingdom here is more of an idiomatic line. It is not the literal key, but look at the next line. It says, and whatever, and whatever you bind, that is referring to the key. Whatever you bind here on earth is bound in heaven. And whatever you lose here on earth is loose in heaven. That is the masunod nga ano eh, masunod nga thought eh. <clears throat> And then we have here the Amplified Translation. It is expanded. Um, yes, and we will see here. Okay. I will give you the keys, meaning authority. So the keys here, one of the one of the uh, uh, truths that is being uh, portrayed here by the kids is the authority. So that Jesus gave us the authority of the kingdom. And whatever you bind because of that authority, and whatever you bind, meaning whatever you forbid, whatever you declare to be improper, and unlawful on earth will have already been bound in heaven and whatever you lose meaning you permit here on earth declared lawful on earth will have already been loose in heaven wow as i am studying this scripture I am thinking of what things are not allowed in heaven, what things are forbidden, what things are declared to be improper, what things are said to be unlawful in the heaven. What are those things? And of course, you have your 
uh, thinking may be lined up to sickness, and you are correct. Is sickness allowed in heaven? No. no. So that is unlawful in heaven. How about disease? No. How about poverty? No. How about lack? No. no. So these words are not allowed in heaven. These are not just words, they are real. Is sickness real? Is disease real? Is lack real? So it is not just a thought. It is real. So that here on earth, when a believer goes through this kind of situations, Jesus said, I have given you the authority to bind. I am giving you, I have given you the authority to bind. Okay, because heaven is a healthy, happy place. Here on earth, we go through sickness, disease, poverty, and lack, and other things that are causing us pains and hurts. Then, we are given the authority, praise God. Then, another thing that was running my mind, what things are allowed in heaven? That is the next line to say. And the things that are allowed in heaven, So what are the things that are allowed in heaven? In other words, like, a proper ang itut asanda sa And because it is in heaven, and if they are from here on earth, then you enjoy them. So what are these? Life, correct? Yes. Health, correct? Yes. Do you want health? Yes. How about abundance? Yes. Is heaven uh, a storehouse of abundance? Yes. Okay. How about happiness? Yes. How about joy? Yes. How about sleep? Yes. You know, when you have peace, you can sleep throughout the night. Correct, ba? Yes. Correct. And you know, uh, not able to sleep throughout the night or maybe a few hours during the night, your body will truly suffer. So here on earth, we have to lose them. Now, Jesus here is saying, Jesus is saying, I will give you, you believers, Amen. I will give you authority and power to lose these things on earth that are allowed in heaven and to buy things on earth that are not allowed in heaven now it's up to us to act on this when we agree with god then we will do it you bind it do not just do nothing do not sit there and do nothing. You have to rise up and use your authority. Okay, in Luke chapter 11, verse 2, this is a scripture that Jesus himself said to his disciples because his disciples have observed Jesus that he was really uh, committed to his prayer, commitment, uh, conversation with the Father. Every day, you would find Jesus praying to the Father. And one day, the disciples said, Please, Jesus, Master, teach us to pray. And Jesus told them, that's what he said. So he said to them, when you pray, Jesus here was giving them the principles of prayer. Say this, our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So whatever is present there in heaven, Jesus is teaching us, be it here, be it also here on earth. So that what kung sa langit, dapat hindi maria. Correct? Kung ito sa langit, dapat iyak. Sino rin may authority na mag-lose karoon? 
Ikaw, bukod si Peter. Okay. Tanan niya tumuho o ay dinarepresent ni Peter. Ilang mga Peters iya? Amen. Okay. Ngayon, actually, last time I was uh, sharing with you, uh, stay pleasing. Did you remember that? In Hebrews 11.6, it says, But without faith, it is impossible to please God. In other words, we have to maintain the life walk of faith. We have to maintain that, that relationship with God in line with faith. And um, I would like to make a part two, and this is actually the part two, but I did not title it as Stay Pleasing Part Two, but I have this title. Can I have it? Keys of the Kingdom. Okay, that's the title, The Keys of the Kingdom. All right, this was taken from uh, verse 19 of that Matthew chapter 16. That verse 19 says, And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. This morning, I was giving an illustration in the, in the early service about keys of and keys to. Two uh, prepositions. What's the difference between keys to the kingdom and keys of the kingdom? Mabahol na bagay. Mabahol na difference The Yung gamit is sa akong na scripture ay keys of the kingdom, not keys to the kingdom. I have given this illustration. For example, ha, example lang ito. I, I use pastor labor. Pastor labor ay tag-ana at mabahol na hotel. Huwag kita na ilang. Huwag kita na magtagana. Okay. Oh, si Pastor Malagambay, why not? Okay. At, ano, eh, ano example? Tag-ana at mabahol ng hotel. I'm using hotel kasi hotel has many rooms. Correct ba? Okay. Hindi ako magamit it house or building kasi kaunti yung rooms. Now, ako raan ang caretaker and he gave me the key to the hotel. He gave me the key to the hotel. If that is given to me, key to the hotel, I can just open the, the door, I can go inside the lobby, and that's all. Key to the hotel. Hasta ako sa lobby, hasta ako na sa ground. But when Pastor Labor, allowed me to have the keys of the kingdom or the keys of the hotel keys of the hotel i can go inside all the rooms and even the offices of the hotel because i have the keys of the hotel Ngayon, god jesus did not give us the key to the kingdom words, in king in heaven, oh, there's plenty of rooms. When I say rooms, I am referring to the blessings. Sang kakwarto na blessing na, na loaded at hell. Sang kakwarto na loaded at uh, provision. Sang kakwarto na loaded at ano gusto mo? Alin? Favors? Okay, what more? Sangka kwarto nga loaded in healings. Sangka kwarto, so many rooms. And God is giving you and me the keys of the kingdom. The authority, the power. Can I have the next slide? It means the power, the authority of binding and losing. Again, I would like to emphasize that the keys of the kingdom has something to do with the binding and the loosing. Are you getting me? The binding and the loosing. Ano rin sa'yo? Loosing? Ano? Nakabukos kasi yo. Pinalin, pinakubaran. Freedom, di ba? Ginalus natin, okay? Ngayon, there are two major avenues and tools to, for us 
to go and enjoy the blessings of the kingdom. If we will not use them, then we will suffer. Number one is the next slide. Number one is the money. Do you have a money? Yes. Yeah. Praise God for the gift. It is given to us. In 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 16, nandiyan din sa screen, For who has known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him? But we have the mind, I love that. <laughs> Apostle Paul said, but we, pwede mong i-personalize, but I have the mind of the kingdom. We, kasi you, kasi yung gamit to sa panin. But we have the mind of Christ. Again, again, the mind of Christ here is loaded with many good things. The mind of Christ. That's why in the morning, I don't know about you, but this is my practice. In the morning when I wake up, when I wake up, when I open my eyes, I know that like you, I am also being bombarded by many thoughts. Many thoughts coming my mind and this has been my habit this has been my lifestyle when I open my eyes in the morning and I know that I'm already up <laughs> the, I would always remind myself that I have the mind of Christ so that the thoughts of uh, sometimes you cannot really help yourself thoughts of uh, apprehensions fear uh, many things, especially if you have so many deadlines and appointments to attend and needs to do and many things. Oh, many, many thoughts are entering my mind. I would start declaring, I have the mind of Christ. This mind of Christ is sound. This mind of Christ has power. This mind of Christ is loaded with peace. This mind of Christ is healthy and strong. This mind of Christ has favors. I would load my mind that way. And soon, I would discover that those negative thoughts, those thoughts that are not aligned to the Word of God, are starting to leave me. And I start rejoicing. I would declare, this is your day, O God. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Today, I am loaded with your benefits and favor, and on and on and on. And praise God for the power, for the keys of the kingdom. Amen. Long time ago, I have learned to use my mouth. Now, the mind. Okay, according to Proverbs 4.23, Solomon, King Solomon said, be careful of what you think because your thoughts control your life. So that if you allow those negative thoughts, those thoughts that are not aligned to the Word of God, is that 423? Keep your heart before the legions, for out of him. Now, Raka na din ang gamit ay ERB translation. Easy to read version. Be careful what you think because your thoughts control your life. Din ang naging hambay. So that, are you still with me? Thank God. When negative thoughts, wrong thoughts come, and they come whether you like it or not, they do. The key is never, I said never, verbalize them. Do not open your mouth and speak it out loud. Did you get it? Do not verbalize them. Why? Negative thoughts will die stillborn. Oh, mamatay mo nga, wa na tao. Wa na materialize. If you will not verbalize them, you will not speak them up. You know what? Satan cannot read your mind. He cannot. He is not omniscient. He cannot read what is in your mind. Only God can do it. 
so that Satan is waiting for what will come out of your chin, for what will come out of your mind. So that those wrong thoughts, negative thoughts that are running your head, mind in the morning, and you, sakyan mo ba? Ihambay mo. Ay, kabudlay na gawas, natamaran ako gagawa. Ay, kabudlay, ako, no problema. Well, Satan is already laughing. He's waiting for those words. And because you said it, because you spoke it out, you will have it. He will enjoy to release those things for you. So right there in your mind, you already have to stop it. Are you, are you getting me? Are you learning something? Yes. Stop it there. Don't allow it to move. Stop it there. And one of the best ways to stop it is to replace it with the thoughts that are aligned to the word. Meaning, you put on the mind of Christ. Meaning, you put on the helmet of salvation. You know what are included in salvation? How many here are saved? Amen. Okay? You should know the blessings of salvation. Salvation is not just being saved from going to hell. Salvation means it includes for your dreams to come to pass. For miraculous answers to prayers. For over, uh, being overtaken with His goodness because God said, Goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of your life. <clears throat> These blessings will overtake you according to Deuteronomy chapter 28. Yes. Um, renew your mind. Reprogram your thinking. Adjust, align your thoughts to the word of God. I cannot do that for you. You can only do it for yourself. I cannot do that for Pastor Labor. He is the only one who can do it for himself. So again and again, Philippians 2, 5 says, Let this mind be in you. Whose mind? The mind of Christ. Which was also in Christ Jesus. Was this mind victorious? All the time. There was answer to prayers. And what else are included in salvation? It means dominion and authority. And this, as, this is ours every day. We can declare, I am the head and not the tail. You can begin declaring, I am a lender. I am not a borrower. How many like that? Yes. I'm not joking. That's the truth. I am a lender, not a... Maybe at this time, you may mga ano, may mga barren ka, may mga challenges ka at this time. But just keep on declaring, just keep on declaring. As just what I was sharing this morning, this young lady, young lady, uh, who got born again, she was in the habit and she was so addicted to smoking when she was still very, very young, as early as the teens. And now that she is grown up, she wanted, and especially that he got, she got born again, he wanted to break, get loose out of this addiction. But he cannot do it. But she cannot do it, okay? And she got, ano, she got counseling, and she was told by the elder, just declare it, declare, just speak to yourself. I do not like to smoke. I will stop smoking. I do not want smoking. I do not want this uh, nicotine and all those things. Bisan nga nagabuyot imaw, it's sigarilyo. Nagamakato imaw. Hay nagahambay imaw. I don't like smoking. I don't like smoking. I hate smoking. Oh, I don't like smoking. 
She keeps on declaring, declaring, declaring until one day. When she got hold of a stick of that cigarette, when she put it like this, no more. Nagsakit ra oro, gabuyog ra oro. So she has the breakthrough. So are you getting something here? All right. Mind and mouth are connected. Next slide, please. Both need careful guarding. You have to guard your mouth. You have to guard your 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 mind. Wrong thinking. Are you still with me? Wrong thinking, if not guarded, will give way to negative speaking. And negative words, death words, will stop God's promises. No wonder why many Christians, they just keep on wondering, why Lord, why? Why Lord? I don't see the revelation. I don't see the demonstration. I don't see the manifestation. Why? Now, you can answer your own question by going back and checking yourself what have you been speaking during the past days. Hallelujah. Praise God. So, in front of the giant, do not talk about how big the giant is. Do not talk about how, the pro how big the problem is. Talk about how big your God is. Amen. Talk about how great the promises of the living God are. Instead of complaining, instead of murmuring, the challenge is so big in front of you. Uh, do not declare what are those thoughts that are negative. Rather declare, I am serving the big God. He spoke the universe into existence and nothing is too hard for him. Mark 9, 11, Mark 9, 23 says, Yes, with men it is impossible, but not with God. Ako, I always speak favors. Every day, I tell you for a long time and every day, I will not stop declaring that. Every day, I would be declaring favor. Favor, favor, favor. I am crowned with favors. I am surrounded with favors. I am shielded with favors. Favors embracing me. And all the time, I have the experience of really having favors. So many, especially during travels, naka-travel man ka mo, mag mo sa mga out, ano, mag-abroad ka mo, mag out of the country. Sa mga immigration, grab your line, di ba? Nakaagi ka mo ngaroon, grab your line, abo, get account na among hagyan. Now, one of the, one of the, ano, hindi na akong malipatan, when we came from Israel, back to the Philippines, ina kami sa UAE, Airport, uh, Queen Alea International Airport, dito kami, and our stopover about seven hours. We arrived mga seven in the evening, then gagawa ramang mga flight about two or three in the morning. So, waiting, waiting, waiting. Pag abot yun it, pag abot yun it, uh, no, boarding, nag-alongs yung, no, the boarding, siyempre, gagagawan, gauna ka na, kaya gusto tanan niya makapakuhay man, makasulod sa plan, at least maka uh, lingkod kahit manami, kapalingkod. Then, uh, when we were lying on on, on the queue, unang sa linya, um, gisunod kami ni Pastor Labor, kaibahan kami sa Tori, sa group, mga 26 kami siguro, 26 pa tayo. Then, the high-ranking officer in the airport, sumuod na kay Pastor Labor, makilaya mo mata sana nga, isok-sok at sana nga, no? Sinuuran ka na na si Pastor Labor. Ang anang ang bag with all the stern face, ano, masyado ako ang mga isa. You, follow me. Oh, grabe. Kubaan ka man, no? Kasi ganyan daw ng limo, ganyan ang tsura. You, follow me. Wala ka tayo, second thoughts, Pastor Labor, manood ba na ka na? No, ay, siyempre ako concerned. Kuhaan kami, ginawin na ba mga kontrol? Nagkabalikin man ka pa si Pastor Labor nga. At ito ako ay, kasi nagabibugtan man ko, officer, and siya na, you, follow me. 
tinuro ang naman ako. So, sunod man ako ay pastor na po. Ang pusing kami na daga. Now, out of the group, so maybe in passengers, aba, ruhinobrat anay. Ito ginaginutang si Pastor Labor at ako sa prenti-prenti itlinya. Favors! Diba? Yan ko magsigit ka dyan ng mga kwarto para investigahon. But we, he was placed. Nag-discussion pa sanda ko another person in the in the airport. Nga ang mga din pa una makaray, makaray, makaray. Siguro ay high official tara tumatong nagtawag kay Pastor Labor ay wala siya magawa. Nandun talaga sa harap. So that, pag bukas it, masunod yun, ay number one namin na siya. Diba? Labor na? Wow! Grabe! And many times, many times, mahaba ng queue, ang haba-haba na po, gano'n ba sa immigration, mahaba rin niya. Nagaling ko na po, nagatindog ako gawa. Nag-whisper ako, spirit of favor. Favor. Favor, I have favor. Spirit of favor, work for me. Ay ba, nagabuhay ka on ay ginautod ka, rulokan ka, naginabuksan no another lane, at maabong na beses, ay kung siyem din ako gatindog, rato ginaging utura, nga ni number one ay na work. Wow. Kami no? Now, release life with your tongue. Yes. Now, don't talk about the size of your problem. How big is your God? God, this God you know, stop the sun for Joshua. This God you know, parted the Red Sea for the Israelites. This God you serve and you love and you celebrate today. He closed the mouths of the lions for Daniel. This is the God you serve today. And what happened in the past, you know, God can always make things happen again and again because He loves you. Hallelujah. Yes, He can turn your situation, whatever situation you are in today, He can turn your situation around as well. He can make a way even you do not have to see a way. So every time you declare, your words are always prophesying for your future. Are you getting me? Every time you speak, you are putting life into the seed coming out of your lips. Every time you declare, you are prophesying your future. So now, the word I am, I am, is so powerful. But what comes after that is another question. If you put life, then it will be powerful if for, for success. If you put death, it's also powerful, but for defeat. So whatever follows the I am is either life or death. Your life will move in the direction of your words. Did you get me? I said, your words, your life, your present life now will move in the direction of your words. If you continue to say words of life, eventually that word life will become a reality to you. Makara, a few years ago, raamon nga kaiting sa pagali, Hi, yun mo nga, may manukan. Oo, manukan talagang uh, big yard. Ang puno it manok. That's why na in the morning when I wake up and I go out, imbis na mag-smell ka it fresh air, ano yung mong ginahugong hay? Not healthy. So, deep in my heart, because, yun mo nga yung concern, sabi ko, uh, in Jesus' name, mapundo ka. Mapundo ka pag-operate di ka. Maduga ang mga kamanukan nga ra. <laughs> ako nga, maduga ang mga kamanukan nga ra. <laughs> It did not try to away up. Kung ikaw ka tutagana, sorry ha. Huwag <laughs> 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 matagatayang si Pastor Labo. Kung mga buyong mandili, huwag matakabig at ako ang nag-agree kami basta individually. Now, it took some years pa, but 
praise God, may mga two years na ngayon na totally wala. Another case, when we moved to our house back in the 1971, 1971, ay ramon nga loting on a may salt, hindi halos na maka, uh, kwando, isang dugag ka ba yan? Then my next lot nga ron, nga So what we did, ay ginagamit ko ba yan? Gamit ko matatagaan mo naman ta, pero ginagamit. And you know, from time to time, this is my declaration, from time to time, rakong nga hambay, uwa it magapatindog it bayay sa raya ng lugar. Uwa it makatindog na kung ano ikara sa raya ng loti. Raya ng loti, kinaklaim ko, in Jesus' name, this belongs to us. I was claiming that back in the 70s, when we were starting. And you know what? Only two years ago, the whole place belonged to us. Wow. Why? Declaration. The power of your tongue. The power of your words. Are you still with me? So that ayaw pagdugami it death words or imong I am. Begin to collect the good powerful words for the I am. You would say, I am blessed. Yes. I am prosperous. Even if you're not prosperous yet, start declaring. Even if you don't feel like blessed because everything is against you, declare, I am blessed. I am a child of God. If you are uh, pain in pain, you say, I am healed. I am the healed of the Lord. Just keep on declaring. Okay? I am successful. I am victorious. I am wise, students. Sometimes when I walk on the subject, declare, I am wise, I am talented. I have the ability in this subject. Amen. Yes, I am healthy. Ano pa? Make a good connection of the I am. I am strong. I am energetic. I am positive. I am focused. I am kind. I am disciplined. I am passionate. I am valuable. Hallelujah. I am forgiven. I am accepted. I am equipped. I am prepared. I am empowered. I am excellent. Amen. Declare it over your life, over your family. Now, makara. <laughs> uh, I think yesterday or early morning, nagpapati si Pastor Marilyn, music. Pati ang kuman. Yung ako na ako na yung mga plaka ba? Yung mga recorded ng mga singers. Then Pastor Mer said, Oh, manay, sininigit ang mga nagkakanta. Ito, aking mga manmana rin ang keyboard. Wow, manay. Kung tama na ba yung pitman, yung mga kato, mga yung tabi, mga kapaya. Why? Why like that? Why? Pastor Lepo would always declare, Our grandchildren, ramon ng mga ako, mga talented ang mga skillful. Hasta makaroon, ginadeclare yan ni Pastor Labor. Kaya ako karoon to witness personally, ha, man, ito kung ano yung kami na iba. Gagri kami na iba, rin na namin na hambay. That's why nga, uh, for your house, for your family, start talking the right thing. Are you getting me? There is power in your words. Yes, there is power in your tongue. You are a child of God. Everything Jesus has belongs to you. You are an heir and a joint heir with Christ. You are the blessing of the Lord. Father, we thank you for what has been done this morning. Thank you, Father God, for the seeds of the truth planted in our hearts. And I cover this, Father God, every single seed planted in the good ground with the blood of the Lamb. And this will remain planted, it will grow, it will bear fruit, and for your glory and honor, you are glorified. In Jesus' name, amen.